river, run, run through the hills, run river, run to the sea, run river, run to your place beneath the sun, run river, run over me, run through the land, you run through my soul, bring me wisdom and peace. This is Jan Lewis. Welcome today to be my guest. We have an up to night person here today. We have Bobby Towski Anderson, and she is the instructor at Hummingbird Yoga. Welcome. Thank you. Thank and you for I me. have found her card. If you want to find some very interesting people, she just ad- asked me a wonderful question. How would I have found her card? If you come to the Upton Library, I don't know if you're watching from out of state, out of the country, but we have a bulletin board, and you can find many different uh, local people or mm-hmm. or not so local. Yeah. We'll put their business card up there and uh, I was studying them I do that a lot and I found Bobby's card and I thought hummingbird yoga mm-hmm. how long have you been doing this I have been practicing yoga probably for about 15 years and then I decided that I just wanted to take a little bit further and I got my certification for 200 hour um, yoga instructor mm-hmm. four years ago in, in June, July. So it's before. Prior to that, I practiced um, karate. 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 My sons and I yeah. went through the ranks together. We all got our black belts, and I taught karate for about twelve years. You taught karate. I did. I ta- started with children, and then went to the adults. And I would go with my instructors to different corporations, and we'd teach um, women's self-defense classes. Oh my God. So as I matured, yeah. I said, well, you know, I think um, my body's getting a little bit tired, you know, because you're thrown down a lot, a lot of kicks yeah. and punches, broken yeah. ribs and things like that. Yeah. So I said, I've got to find something more gentle, but yet strengthening, centering. And I started on VHS tapes at home yeah. for yoga with Alan Finger, uh, the yoga zone. And I just um, loved it. I loved it. I felt centered, strong, calm and did that for many, many years at home, mm-hmm. and then I said, well, it's time to go to a class. So I started going to different classes, practice um, hot yoga for many years, mm-hmm. and you know, then it just kind of led me to my own training, and I just want to share it with, um, with other people. Um, it's, it's just really, really fun. My classes at home, right in my you do home right stu- in your home studio. Right in my home studio. Um, it's small. We can fit six in. We can squeeze in eight. It's it's mostly women. Occasionally, I get a you know daring man. He'll come yeah, in, yeah. like my husband, on occasion. And it's very um, relaxed. We laugh at every class. We work hard. We I let them get to their own level mm-hmm. in their practice. Um, in their own time, mm-hmm. I teach with patience and encouragement. Is it a lot of the physical positions that you get in? It's all the. It's a lot. Of, it, we do breathing. We do some meditation. Very light on the meditation. At this point, I, I feel I need more training for that before I can really um, introduce it um, totally for them to get the most out of it. It's a lot of standing postures, stretching, breathing. It's like the breathing. That's like the first thing you focus on. Cause the breath. The breath. The it's, breath. Exactly. It's connecting movement with your breath. And if you don't breathe, you're going to move, but you're not going to move safely. You're going to injure yourself, and, and that again Oh, tell is me about key. it. <laughs> I put my back out a oh, couple yeah. times doing it. Sure. And you don't even think. You you're don't. in the refrigerator, you turn quickly, and yeah. my husband heard like, me eat. scream. Yes, I know. I've right done that. I oh, know. It. And it takes uh-huh. a couple months for it to even get better, even with physical therapy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it, it does take a while, and as we mature, it seems to take a little bit longer and longer. But, you know, we get past it, and we keep moving on. Yeah. But that's, that's key, is I want them to feel like they've left there with something for themselves. I want them to feel lifted, calmer, just whatever they get out of it. It's their practice. Mm-hmm. I'm up there offering suggestions. If they choose to do it, then that's fine. If not, I can offer modifications. If they have injuries, they let me know about that. Yeah, yeah. And we just kind of work around it. And um, most of the students that I have now, and again, they're very small classes, so I can give individual attention. Yeah. They've been with me since I started. When, yeah. um, and I started four years ago teaching. Yeah. yeah. And when yeah. I was going through my training, um, which I got at State of Grace in Uxbridge, mm-hmm. Um, I started with community classes, you know, just a little drop-in fee, and mm-hmm. it was even just before, like a few months before my certification, 
And they followed me back to my home. They followed you, but that's always a good sign. Oh, it is. When do you have your classes, Bobby? Um, okay, it's on my website, and I should really hindsight. Oh, she's wearing hindsight, hummingbird. However, hummingbird yoga. Oh, how and do I'll I get show one you of my those? hummingbird in the back. Oh, she's got a hummingbird in the back of her nice? shirt. Hummingbird I love that. yoga. <laughs> okay. Now, do people buy those? Oh, do, do, yes, okay. I can order them. It depends um, on how many I have per order. Okay. So they're anywhere from eighteen to twenty-two dollars. Yeah. The long sleeve and short Very sleeve. Cute. But it's hummingbird yoga twenty-seven. Dot com okay. and next time I'll have 27 and the reason it's 27 is because that's where I stopped my age stopped at 27 I said, oh okay. this feels good <laughs> that sounds good to me <laughs> my mother said she always wanted to stay 28 oh, okay yeah we all each have our own yeah Dad, yeah. do you have kids Bobby I have um, two boys they're 34 and 36 I have two grandchildren now mm -hmm. little girl Gabriella is a little over two and a half. She's yeah. a Fourth of July baby, yeah. and a new grandson, Jacob, oh, cool. and he was born on March second. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Very Thank good. You. Now you, okay. So your kids are kind of millennials. You're um thirties, mid thirties. Yeah. I don't know. My son's only twenty three. So yeah, uh -huh. he's definitely. You know, <laughs> you know, they think our group. I was telling people that one time. Um, I thought just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to uh, borrow the Woodstock. I was too oh. young to go, but I loved the music. So yeah. I'm going to borrow that from the library and have him watch that. I mm -hmm. figured he was really going to rag on me. Uh -huh. He was fascinated. Really? This kid who criticizes everything, yeah. he was fascinated by it. He went, wow. I'm like, I don't believe it. I didn't think I'd get that reaction at all. Really? He says, that's what you You got. just never know. No. <laughs> and he's totally not, not that way at all. But yeah. he thought that was pretty. He, I, I think he also thought it was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. You know, we were so free and easy. Oh, I said, I well, know. Like, you know, mine is the drug, son. <laughs> yeah, Please put that out of your mind. Exactly, yeah, we don't want to go there. So, exactly. you know, you have the classes. Okay, the classes are Monday night and Wednesday night at 6 p.m. And then Wednesday and Friday mornings at 9.30 Okay, in the so most likely you'd see me in the light time, <laughs> not oh, yes, in the morning. I know, I know. And it's, you know, again, small classes. The um, Wednesday night class is... A little bit warmer it's heated to about 76 78 degrees and it's it's just because it's good for your muscles it allows your muscles to kind of open up and relax do you have to be a mat or do you have you I have mats you can use my mats I have blocks I have straps you know most people do bring their own what if it's hard to sit on like your back and, and a hip problem how do you sit on the floor that long you can sit on a block a block um, a yoga block, the foam blocks. Okay. That opens up your hips a little bit more. You can lean up against the wall. There's always that option. Or you can sit on a folded blanket and that just kind of lifts you up. You don't have to sit. Mm -hmm. You can start lying down if your back is too sore. You can start in child's pose um, where you're just kind of extended and sitting on your heels. So depending on your, your injuries, what your body is telling you, I didn't know you could do that. First you listen to your body, then you tell me what your body's saying, and okay. then I can help you adjust and That modify. is fascinating. We're talking with Bobby, yes. and she's from right here in Upton, and she has um, she's the instructor at Hummingbird Yoga, Bobby Tosti Anderson, and I didn't know she was here until I saw her business card. And where are you located? Bob? Right on 24 Brook Street here in Upton. Okay, so for those of us who don't know all the streets, mm -hmm. you would have to go up Elm as if you were going to go to the beach. Well, if you're on 140 and you're traveling south on Route 140, just when you pass the Rose Garden and the VFW, yeah, yeah. it's the immediate right after that. Oh, it's opposite Elm Street. It's opposite. It's the intersect. That's, okay, I've the been there, man. Okay, I know where it is now. Yes, that's, yeah, it's a dead end far. street. That's not far at all. No, it's not. I, you know, walk here all the time. And when you were a kid growing up, did you ever think you would be a you know, yoga instructor? I, no, not, ab no, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I was so shy. I mean, you mentioned Woodstock. There's no way I would ever, ever go to Woodstock. I was the shyest child, mm -hmm. the shyest adolescent, teenager, young adult, into my early, you know, twenties until I had my children. Yeah. And then I said, I am not passing this on to them. Yeah. So I kind of brought myself out of it for them. I would take them to story hour and play group and all that. And then I think what helped me the most was karate. Getting yeah. up in front of a group. It yeah. started with children, you know, yeah. little kids, yeah. and all I had to do was go in and warm them up with their exercises, sure. and my heart's pounding. I'm there. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm standing in front of the little kids, yeah. and then it just evolved. It just evolved. And evolved, and I am completely relaxed. And you loved it. Loved it. Loved that, and loved the yoga. I know my son only made it to an orange belt. He just oh, yeah. lost patience. He just lost interest in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not for everybody. Yeah. Nor is yoga. 
not for everybody. I mean, you've got to find, there's so many different styles of yoga, too. You've got to find what works for you. Yeah. I incorporate vinyasa flow, a lot of movement with the breath connection. Yeah. This morning in my class, <coughs> excuse me, I decided to do, it just felt like, and I could tell who's in the class, they would like it, a hatha yoga, which is just holding the postures longer. Mm. It builds internal heat, it strengthens. I mean, our thighs were screaming, and it's like felt really good. Mm. And then you stretch them out, and you know, it's it's just everything. And it's key, again, is breath. How about, how about age groups? Age groups, I've taught, um, I do not teach little children. I'm not qualified to do that. With the weekend intensive, I don't think I have what it takes. Um, prenatal, I do not, mm -hmm. but I can teach anybody else. Um, in there, I've taught teenagers, adults, young adults. Um, a lot of the women in my class are like in their 40s, 50s, 60s, mm -hmm. you know. Who's your oldest student? Uh, probably me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know a lot of people, people say, well, I've got a grandmother in her 90s and she's taking yoga. I think it's awesome. It is, and I plan on being that yeah. grandmother in my 90s. I'd say the oldest um, is 66. That's still pretty young. Oh, yeah. I'm, when mm. I'm thinking the oldest one in the class, I'm thinking like 90. No, I don't, I, I don't not have... Not yet. Not yet, yet. but no. we get the word out about you. Yeah, come but on. How, can they, how can they contact you? Put them um, they can contact me... Um, on my website, which is hummingbirdyoga27.com. And um, there are, again, cards downstairs in the library. Uh, I can give you my home phone, which is 508-529-6239. And you can leave a message, and you know, we can talk. You can, I'll answer any questions that you may have. Um, and, you know, I actually go to people's homes. Oh, my gosh. Yep, I started teaching a woman in Upton and her daughter. Um, I've only been there once. We've had yeah. scheduling yeah. conflicts, but I'd be happy to come to your home. We work on a um, comfortable fee. The fees are on my website, and they're very affordable. Mm -hmm. I, I try and make it affordable for people where I just want them to experience yoga. So you actually, you're the traveling yoga instructor. Yes. You will go to someone, um, let's say maybe somebody who's housebound. Yes. Um, you will actually go to their home. I will go to their home. Be yeah. careful. Make sure, though, that you you know who's there. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I do have um, conversations at home. I'll first go and I'll meet them. Yeah. And then if I feel if everything kind of fits into place, then I'll, I'll go. Yeah. I like if they have any kind of um, medical conditions, I'd like a release from the doctor sure. or their physical therapist. That's an excellent idea. Right. Now, this goes along with um, if somebody's having physical therapy, I would think this would be a wonderful adjunct to that. It is. It is. And this is what is um, that woman and her daughter that I teach, mm -hmm. her daughter's going through physical therapy, and she's a young girl, about 11, 12 years yeah. old. Yeah. And again, the physical therapist suggested yoga. Yeah, I think mine yeah. did, too. She uh -huh. said, um, I was having back problems. She yeah. said, you might like yoga. Yeah. And I think I, I we had, um, oh, I can't think of her name. She has does yoga. She was on a while back. Um, and I went and visited her one time. It was okay. Mm -hmm. It was okay. But I think, you know what I think? I think it's also the instructor. If the instructor shows enthusiasm, yeah. I'm more likely to catch, you know, catch right, that. Right, right. Like what I told you, I'm an East Indian meditation yes, teacher. Yeah. And just the way she is so, mm -hmm. you know, in charge of herself, yeah. and that's it, it just rubbed right off. I just felt so safe. Good. Oh, that's so important. Yes. Yeah. It really rules strangers mm -hmm. too, and just yeah. I just zapped out. Yeah. I never do that. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty unusual. Yeah, that's. Do you, have, you don't have people lucky. fall asleep in yoga though? No. At the end of the class, when you're in shavasana, which is that final relaxation pose where you lie down, you turn your palms up, and just kind of relax. That's actually one of the most difficult postures because mm -hmm. you have to shut your mind off. Yeah. You connect the breath and you try and relax, and it can be quite challenging. Yeah. Um, but e every now and then, well, one will just kind of be right on the verge, and she goes, oh, I was almost asleep. Yeah. You know? Is this anything like Kundalini yoga? No, that's completely different. There are different kinds. What there are, are many, many different kinds. Um, yeah, Kundalini is a lot of that breathing fast and things like that. And again, I haven't been certified in that, and you mm -hmm. have to have special training for that. Um, but it's, um, you know, legs up the wall is a great one I like to do at the end of class, which helps with insomnia. Oh. You just kind of kind of scoot up against the wall with your, your 
glutes right up against the wall and you extend your legs, put your arms down, close your eyes, and the reverse of the blood flow yeah. kind of calms you down and that can help you fall asleep at night. Really, you know. that's a good thing to know because a lot of us, we have a little yes, we committee do. in our head. Oh yeah, little, yeah. yeah. When you go yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's not a bad thing because maybe I'm uh, inventing something, I'm thinking about a great idea, and next thing you know, it's three o'clock. Oh yeah, I know, yeah, we gotta yeah. turn that off. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Now you said your husband, he also likes this? On occasion, I, I mean, it's like, I don't know. I, I don't know why he doesn't come more often. It's right there. There's no charge for him, you know. Yeah. So it's like, but and he he does like it when he comes. Does, does anybody does uh, do, does the girls or the guys need to dress any certain way? Um, leggings, loose clothing, um, nothing too flowy because if you're inverted, you don't want it hanging in your face or something. Yeah, Just, right. Exactly. You know, basic workout clothes. Yeah. Barefoot on your mats. Try not to use hand cream or foot cream because you will slide on your mats. Oh, that's a good one. Bring yeah. water. Sometimes people's palms get a little sweaty, so you might have a little hand towel. Um, and you know, just kind of see where it takes you. Is it more like a regular group? You notice a lot of them, they followed you from yes. where you were. Yes, we've all become really good friends. We've gone on different trips together, and it's just a really nice, nice, you know, we, we chat for a little while before yeah. class. We'll chat afterwards. We'll get together for luncheons and things oh, like that. Oh, I think that's that. wonderful. It's really nice. It's nice. I like the small intimacy of it, but mm -hmm. I also want to open it up to others and make, you know, make them part of the group because mm -hmm. we're very welcoming. I and think that's like great. Do you burn people. the candle? And incense? The candle sometimes depends on who's in class. Some people don't like scented candles or incense. Really? So I have to respect that. Yeah. It will give them headaches. And, oh, yeah. I never thought of that. So I don't, you know, you don't wear any perfumes or, yeah. you know, a lot of hair, you know, sprays and things like that. That's so you got to be respectful of other people. So there's no age um, limit except you don't teach children. I don't so teach children. So probably 18 and over maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. good one. And if it's something beyond that where they're really limited in their movement, they really wouldn't fit into a class so I would have a, a, a private class for them or mm -hmm. again go to their home and we could work on what their needs are. Do you go over to the senior center? I don't. I haven't done that. I'm Janet who is, our, they had they had uh, the director over at the senior center in Upton. Mm -hmm. uh, many towns have those. And, she, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if they have, they have a lot going on yeah. <clears throat> in there, and I don't know if she'd be, be kind of fun to, if you were dropped in and, and said, it doesn't have to just be Upton, it could be probably anywhere. It could. I'm a little bit limited with my time, because mm -hmm. I take care of my granddaughter, like three days a week. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that, then I'll yeah. be getting my grandson in another month or two, so I've got to, that's why I only have a few classes a week, yeah. and, you know, it's like, I try to make it, you know, comfortable times mm -hmm. and for some people, but it's it's kind of limited. Right what happens now. if somebody can't relax? You know, the new one that comes in, the newbie, and they're, they just mm -hmm. can't relax. What do, you, what do you tell them to help them? Basically, it's um, you, you go at your own pace. There's no pressure. It's not competitive. Very, very, you know, if you have questions, stop me in the middle of class. I'll help you. I am hands-on, mm. so if they're okay with that, I will go and I will adjust them, make sure they stay safe and get the most out of the pose. And, you know, just tell them, you know, we all started there. Mm -hmm. That's where we all start. And where you evolve to, mm -hmm. you know, you evolve to. If you, you might never, I'll never be able to wrap my, my leg around the no. back of my head. <laughs> we <might try laughs> I'm that just one. not going to do that. There are certain things that my body won't allow me to do for, right. for whatever reason, and you respect that. Right. And don't get discouraged and think that it's a shortcoming because it's yeah. not. No, I mean, yeah, I can just see a lot of people trying the pose with the leg around. Oh, yeah. Around. <laughs> I yeah. don't think that would yeah. be... You, can you tell, you seem to be very intuitive, can you tell when somebody is having an awful time, maybe they're embarrassed, or that type of thing? Sometimes it's pr a little bit obvious. Other times people can hide a little bit because they don't even want to, you know, the instructor to see it. Yeah. But I think because I was so shy that I can kind of feel that, and I can kind of a little bit, you know, intuitive as far as that. Mm -hmm. So I do my best to make them feel as comfortable as possible. Yeah. And just, you know. I can't imagine that you were shy. You are oh my gosh, every, everybody says that who didn't know me as a child and a young adult. I can't says, so There's no way. You, I, was, it, I was painfully shy. I would walk with my head down yeah. and not, not look at anybody and pray nobody was looking at me. Really? Oh, yeah. Because, boy, the, you, what do you test it to? The karate or the yoga? Was the karate the really It started out? with my children. Yeah. And then I really think karate just took me to that level of 
confidence. And you just it just sort of blossomed from there. Is yeah. anyone else in your family interested in in the, in the uh, karate or the yoga? Well, right? my son's with the karate for sure. Yeah. Um, and then um, my daughter-in-law is a little bit has been interested, but she's really busy, yeah. and you know my husband on occasion. But you probably try it with your two-year-old granddaughter, right? Oh, we do some. Oh yes, we but do. You find she's that fun. You know, oh, yeah, they'll, they'll absolutely, yeah. a game at that age. Oh, it is fun. That would be fun. Yeah, and then when she's there, like sometimes on a Monday night, my my yoga ladies come. Yeah, Gabby will be. Oh, Nana, your yoga ladies are coming. She goes right into down dog, and then she lifts her leg for three legged dog, and oh my gosh, just shows off and it's a riot. They get a big kick out of her. Bobby, do you have refreshments there or can you bring anything you want? <laughs> you bring water. You bring your water. Yeah, okay. That's okay. It, yeah. And then after you talk a little bit beforehand. We do. We kind of <clears> catch <throat> up if we hadn't seen each other for a little while. I really try to start on time and if I have new people come in, of course I'll be more, you know, respectful of their time frame. Mm. And what their restrictions are and stuff. Wow, well, that yeah. Bobby again. How can they reach you? Uh, you can reach me at my website, uh, Hummingbird Yoga Twenty Seven dot com. My home phone is five zero eight five two nine six two three nine, and you can leave a message, and I'd be happy to return your call. We can talk. Um, you can come and try a free class and and see how you like it. That's important. You yeah. just said the magic word. The free class. To see if some yeah. see if you honestly like it. Mm -hmm. Come and try it for free. Right. And if somebody needs you to go to their home, mm -hmm. let's say maybe they have a you know family member who is a, can't come out or something like that yeah. and wants to try it, you are willing to do that. I am. I mean, there's a certain radius that I'm considering. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to go too far in any direction because my time is. I don't want to have to charge for my time. Exactly. So I want to make it again more affordable for them. And when well, again, at what days and times do you have it? Okay, we have Monday night and Wednesday night at six o'clock, and then I have Wednesday morning and Friday mornings at nine thirty in the morning. Okay, so Wednesday at six o'clock. Wednesday p.m. Every at Wednesday p.m. at six. To how long? It's an hour class. Each class oh, is an hour. Oh, that's pretty good. It is nice. Um, it usually goes a little over because it just kind of flows into that little yeah. bit longer. Yeah. But um, everyone's fine right now with ninety with sixty minutes. It's a long time to sit on your <clears throat> keister. I mean, I know for the Indian meditation mm -hmm. class, which is different. We chant it, it is, and you know, yeah. and on and on. But you know, to sit that long. But we're just we're not sitting per se that long. We start seated or lying down or in child's pose. Um, but we also do movements on our hands and knees. We stand up and then we lie back down yeah. on on our backs and on our you know hands and knees again and just do different. I like postures. that the fact that she can be indifferent. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's. I saw somebody in the Indian meditation class have to do that. She had to be on her back. Right. Uh -huh. Even for that, and that's a whole different type of thing than the yoga. It is, yeah. What do you see for the future? Are you going to be blossoming out, Brent, getting out another place? Um, I think right now, I again, I want to keep it to small classes, six to eight students, and this particular schedule is working really well for me right mm -hmm. now. If it, if I get more people to come in, then I might be able to add a class or two to accommodate to keep the classes small, where I don't yeah. want to squeeze people in. Again, yeah. eight is tight, six yeah. is really good. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the, I just want to mention one thing, at the end of the class when you're Shavasana, when you're lying down and just kind of breathing and relaxing, I have, and if people are okay with this, is I have a lavender essential oil, oh. and I put it on my hands, mm -hmm. and then as they're lying there with their eyes closed, I just put my hands over their face, they breathe it in, and then I gently press on their shoulders to relax them, and if they're willing, it's I'll just kind of bring it up their neck, oh. and just massage their forehead and their temples, and mm -hmm. the, it enhances their relaxation. Oh, and so they it's, love that. it's almost like a massage. Yeah, it's oh. like a little mini massage at the end, but it's, I, of course, don't go deep because I'm not a licensed massage yeah, therapist, right. and they just love it. Once in a great, great while, I will forget if I get, you know, too busy or yeah. something. It's like, and I feel so bad. Someone, you know? someone will remind you, like, hi, yeah. over here. Like, by the way, by the way, but they... They love it. I would I would imagine somebody would want to go to sleep and oh, never yeah. get up. <laughs> I know. It's it's tough and I feel kinda of bad too. It's like they're lying in Shavasana for about five, six minutes sometimes and then I'm there, okay now deepen your breath. I said, bring some movement back into your body and just awaken gently. And I feel bad when I have to tell them to come out of their shavasana because I know how they love it. <laughs> um, but it's like, okay, you have to get back. And then we come back and we sit mm -hmm. and we take a few more deep breaths. And sometimes at the end of class now I'm adding gentle twists. Oh, the twists, yeah. Twists, the neck and all that. Because at the beginning yeah. you might be too tight to do that and you might pinch. So I try and do it at the end when you're relaxed. 
Bobby, are you from Upton originally? I grew up in Bellingham, and then when my husband and I got married, we lived in Grafton for about 28 years. We raised our children there. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, 11 years ago this month, we moved to Upton. 11 yeah, years? 11 ago. years. So you got here. See, I moved here in 2008. Oh, so, yeah, you were here before me. Yeah, yeah definitely. Bit, yeah. But the thing is, you've stayed close like I have. I was in oh, Whitensville yeah. and Grafton, yeah. and then, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You've, stayed, you've stayed close too. Yeah. It's, you know, it's something, this area kind of pulls on you. It does. We, I was in Worcester mm -hmm. temporarily, um, and yeah. the plan was to get back. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Now, I do not miss, I grew up in Wilbraham, the western part of the state. Oh, yes. I yeah. have no desire to go back. I spent years, yeah. I was, what, 20? Mm -hmm. You know, years there when we left. Yeah. But um, beautiful home. I have no, I don't miss it. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. I, it just, this is the place for you. It took me a long time to adjust to Upton from leaving Grafton, I think, because I raised my children there, mm -hmm. and it was like our first home we ever bought together, yeah. and... It was, you know, but it's really, it's only like seven miles away. But it's yeah. out of the neighborhood. Like we yeah. left friends, but and a lot have moved away since. Sure. But of course, being this close by, we're able to keep in touch with our. Coaches. I just had a wonderful idea. Yeah. Bobby and I were talking about our town beach here, um, here in Upton. Uh, we are very blessed. We have a yeah, lovely beach. We do. Have you ever thought? Oh, you know, part of the summer entertainment thing is doing yoga on the beach. I'd be there in a flash. Oh, <laughs> that's a really good idea. I know they've tried <coughs> done some yoga here on the common. Um, I would definitely be willing to do that. I think mm. that would be a great idea. Yeah. I would love that. That's what I, I come up with. You oh, do? Yeah. yeah, I think that, that would be so, yeah. that would be like paradise. It would be great, yes, yeah. Definitely. Before we close, Bobby, one more time, how do people reach you? Okay, you can reach me at my website at hummingbirdyoga27.com. My home phone, 508-529-6239. Bobby, thanks so much. Good thing I got oh. that card of yours, right? Yes, it was great. Thank you. This is an honor to be here. Well, I we're going to have you back it. on. Oh, you, it's okay. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Maybe next time you and I can kind of try a few poses. Do a few poses. How would you like that? Hey, so, so I'm <laughs> game for that. We've had animals in here. We've had now a bagpiper. We're all okay, set. I'll try yes. We'll see you all next right. time. It'll be my guest. Thank you. Run, river, run. Run through the hills, run river, run to the sea. Run river, run to your place beneath the sun. Run river, run over me. Run.